Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to acknowledge and honor the life of a true American hero, Robert Newton Lowry, on his 95th birthday. Bob was born on this day, February 25th, 1919, 95 years ago here in Washington, D.C., but he considers Modesto, California his home. For high school, Mr. Lowry attended Manlius uh, School, a military school in upstate New York. He graduated at the top of his class and was named an ROTC honor grad. Bob also received a commission to the United States Army, but unfortunately he was too young to accept it at the time. He then was admitted to Princeton University. During his time there, he received the prestigious New York Herald Book Award. He graduated in 1942 with highest honors, summa cum laude, and ROTC. These earned him another commission, this time to the United States Marine Corps. As a second lieutenant, in July 1942, following officer candidate school at Quantico, he began artillery training. On February of 1943, Bob sailed out of San Diego Harbor with the 2nd Battalion, 12th Regiment of the 3rd Marine Division. He joined the fighting of the Solomon Islands in the South Pacific, first in the Guadalcanal, then the original invasions in Bougainville, Guam, and Iwo Jima. During his time in Auckland, New Zealand, Bob met his wife, Lieutenant Commander Mary Dudley. They married in May of 1946. Mary died in April 2005, just two weeks before their 60th anniversary. Mary always maintained as Lieutenant Commander, she outranked him both in the military service and in their marriage. They're survived by two, two children, Robert Dudley Lowry and Lowry Perez, as well as four grandchildren, Sam and, and Joe Lowry and Michael Lowry Champion. After the Battle of Iwo Jima, Bob returned stateside to Norfolk, Virginia, where he commanded a, a Marine Guard Company to the Naval Station. He was soon appointed commanding officer of the Europa, 100-man Marine detachment sent to Europe to provide security for a seized German luxury liner. Bob was one of the few Marine Corps officers to manage the commissioning of this kind of Navy vessel. He was released uh, from active duty in January 1946 and retired from the Marines in 1959 with the rank of major. Following his time in the Marines, he enrolled in law school at the University of Virginia in the post-war accelerated program, graduating in 1948. He then began a lifetime of specialty law practice, primarily in public utility and transportation. His career started with the Southern Railroad and then progressed to his uh, work at a law firm in Washington, D.C. In 1953, he accepted a position with Brobeck, Flegger, and Harrison, a renowned law firm in San Francisco, from which he retired in 1989. He's greatly enjoyed the company of the Marine Corps League, the Modesto Detachment, whose members regularly go out of their way to include him to celebrate his service, as well as they're doing this 95th birthday celebration. Mr. Speaker, please join me in honoring Robert Newton Lowry on his unwavering dedication and contributions to this great nation. I yield back.